In this example, we're going to look for an Euler path or circuit through the floor plan of this house. So we have a floor plan given, and we're looking specifically for an Euler circuit or path through this interior using the highlighted doors, the doors that are in red. So we're going to ignore the exterior doors, we're going to ignore the stairs, any windows you could travel through, so just the doors that are listed. Now, it's hard to see this maybe on the floor plan, but if we draw a graph, it'll be much easier to answer this question by counting the degree of each node. So let's say we draw a node over here for the pantry, up here for the kitchen, over here for the laundry. So these are roughly equivalent to where they are in the house, but it doesn't have to be perfect. Once we have the nodes, we can start drawing edges. So notice that from the entrance, there's a doorway into the family room. There are two into the bathroom. So we'll draw one to the family room. We'll draw two edges to the bathroom. There's one to the laundry room, one to the pantry, and one to the kitchen. So we'll draw all of these edges here. Then there are edges connecting the living room and dining room to the family room, and one connecting it to the kitchen, right there. So that graph represents all of the doors with edges and all of the rooms or spaces with nodes. So once we do that, we can take this more abstract picture, this graph, and ask whether or not there's an Euler circuit or a path just by counting the degree of each node. So I'll put the degree in red next to each node. The pantry has a degree of one. The laundry also has a degree of one. Now notice right away we've got two odd nodes. So if we find any other odd nodes, we'll know that there's no Euler path or circuit. We already know there's no Euler circuit possible, but there could be an Euler path if all the rest of them are even. So if we continue on, the bath has a degree of two, the kitchen, living room, dining room, and family room all have a degree of two, and the entrance has a degree of six. So since all the others are even, it turns out yes, there is an Euler path, but not an Euler circuit. And for any Euler path, you'd have to start in either the pantry or laundry and end in the other one of them.